Scorpio, hi. Uh, this is going to be a reading for mid-September 2019. And um, these are general readings, so they may not resonate with each and every one of you. If they do resonate, I do have an extended at the end of the video. Uh, you can check down, uh, check out the description box below. I hope I'm not uh, going to do that again for you where I lose my words and start laughing like crazy. Um, I'll start this reading off with the oracle card, uh, then I'll do the reading, and then you get two more oracle cards at the end. So, let's begin with the uh, Sacred Traveler oracle deck as a startup for you. And you get Taking Shelter. The answers are within. So if that hermit doesn't uh, come up, I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go look for it. So, let's see. Let's see what's happening for you. Oop. For uh, mid-September. Okay, Scorpio, come on, come on, you can do this. Give me a good one. Okay, so, oh. <laughs> the overall energy for this reading uh, is this connection of two people, two soulmates, very strong soulmates here, all right? Um, you get the, starting off the reading, you get the full cross by uh, the strength card. So I kind of see you as being willing to take a leap of faith here. Uh, Possibly in this connection, possibly, yeah, this connection for sure. And you need to be strong about it. Uh, there's a lot of Leo coming up here for some reason. You get strength and you get the sun in the reading. So you may be dealing with a Leo. However, uh, not necessarily, but um, it's looking like you got to be strong. You know, if you're willing to take this chance into the unknown, you have to be strong about it. And you know that. Um, in your in your focus here, you got this lady, which could be an earth sign. Uh, you're thinking about um, this person. Doesn't have to be a lady. It could be a guy too. Uh, not gender specific, but um, it's this person here that you're thinking about constantly. All right. In your uh, recent past, I see you being open to understanding, to listening, to seeing the signs from the universe, things like that. You're starting to get open to that, you know. Um, in your strength here, you get the Ten of Cups. All you want is stability, happiness, happy family, happy life, right? That's all you want. Uh, coming out for you in the immediate future. Exactly that, happiness. This is the happiest card in the deck. Um, hmm. What's surrounding you at this time, what's supporting you actually, it's the, um, you're healing. You're going within, you're taking shelter, as the uh, Oracle card said. You're going within and you're looking for the answers there, because that's the only place where you finally reach the conclusions that um, that's where you need to go. Uh, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, is talking about the stable commitment here. We'll see what's up with that when we clarify. Uh, that could talk about marriage. It could also talk about divorce. It could also talk about higher spiritual learnings, things like that. So that's going to have to be clarified. Um, I feel like you're realizing you have options out there for you, you know? Uh, coming up for you for the potential outcome partnership so let's start clarifying uh, let me do the lovers you thought I wasn't gonna do that well I am 
I am digging into that, okay? Because again, Scorpio, water sign. Everything looks fine. So let's dig to see what happens underneath it all. There's no uh, communication with this person in this connection, and you're resisting that. You don't like that, all right? It's breaking your heart. The fact that you two are not really in touch emotionally, possibly not even physically, is hurting you. And you're resisting that. You're like, no, no, no. I know this is the situation, but I hate it. I don't like it. And it's making you feel uh, not so good. So let me see the full here, starting off the reading. Oop. There are things that you don't know in a situation and it's annoying the hell out of you because you do want to know everything that's happening with this fool. They want to they wanna jump towards anything that comes their way and when they hit this wall of not knowing, they're still going to jump. But um, they want to know. They're going to jump to look for knowledge. They're going to jump to look for answers. They're going to jump to... Uh, bring all the secrets out kind of like i don't know about this and i want to know about this i don't want to i don't know about this and i really 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 want to know about this so this is a person that seeks um you're very curious about the things that are happening that you may not know about and uh i feel like you need to wait you need to wait for things to surface up on their own here because uh, you are, you do have the potential to reach this um, this kind of energy where this person uh, is very confident, very um, knowledgeable. They know exactly what they want, and they're gonna go get it. However, if you go a little too far within this energy, they can be a little bit controlling, and that says to me, if they do that, that says to me that the controlling part is coming most from wanting to know the things that are hidden from you, that you cannot really access. And this is not such a great energy to have when you get into the controlling part, because it makes you feel crazy. You're gonna wanna know. Whatever happens, you need to know. It's not healthy for you sometimes. You need to let go and trust that things will turn out somehow positively here. You know, that's why you get the strength card crossing it. Because you need to be strong through the process. You need to let things go. You know, the, the not knowing part. That's a hard one to let go of. But that's what's shown up as you needed, you needing to let go of. So, let me see this Queen of Pentacles in your uh, focus. No, wrong deck. Hold on, hold on. I knew something wasn't right. You're you're very much depressed about this person. There's something about this person that makes you feel very anxious, very depressed, and you're just fooling yourself if you think love is enough. This is a repetitive theme for you. You have it in your mind, in your whole being, that because there's love here, things have to work out. No. Apparently, they're not working out. You feel like shit about this person. Something in regards to this person. And you keep on putting that love out there, like it's going to fix everything. That's self-deception. That's not going to work. I'm sorry to break it to you, but it's 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 like a harsh truth that you need to learn because it keeps popping up for you. 
uh, you know, thinking that oh, love will take care of everything. Mm -mm. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, let's do this um, Ten of Cups. There is love here. I'm not saying there isn't. There's like mutual love. This person loves you too. You love them. It's not like it's not, but it's not going to fix everything. Uh, Ten of Cups here. Um, you're waiting. You're waiting for this happiness to happen uh, in your life here. You're 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 waiting, and you're very eager here to to jump to uh, jump into this. If there's one sense of this happiness coming towards you, and you feel it, you even sniff it a little bit. You're like, yeah, I'm going in. You know, you're 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 right there waiting, waiting for the the smallest opportunity smallest window to open up for you here but meanwhile you're you're kind of fantasizing about this i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm not actually feeling it as a bad thing but this is what's keeping you going you know you having this whole fantasy of um things looking perfect in your life and as soon as you spot the smallest uh hint in that direction you're gonna take it which again, I'm not saying it's bad. It's actually a good sign, but don't get too obsessive about it. You know, don't obsess about it. Let's uh, let's see the sun. So happiness is coming towards you. Yeah, there is this uh, stable commitment coming towards you, and it's looking like it's. Um, I feel like it's the same person because usually soulmates have, are having a hard time letting each other go. And um, this person may, may still have some things to learn about this partnership here, you know. It may not be done here. It's going to make you happy as hell. Uh, let's see this Four of Swords. It could be another person, but um, whatever, whoever that is, is going to make you happy. All right. Let's do the Four of Swords. I see you. I understand that you're a dog. You have a lot of personality. You want out. You can't go out right now. Okay. He's out. <laughs> uh, let's do the Four of Swords. Stubborn dog. He gets his way all the time. There's some sort of conflict that you're going within for. Uh, you're fixing. You're very sad. You're very discontent with where things are. You're very depressed about where things are in your life. I feel like it's in regards to this connection because there's some conflicts. There's some fights going on. There's something that you don't like and you're actually uh, thinking about that, analyzing that and trying to come up with a better solution for this because it's not making you happy. The, the current situation that you're in is not making you happy. You're feeling like crap. Let me do the Hierophant. So in regards to this connection that at some point was very stable, it, it could still be, but it was for sure very stable. Somebody's looking at what they can do, at what options they have to make this work again. And they are coming up with two brand new beginnings here. You know, love, passion. Um, they actually made their choice on how to proceed with this. I kind of feel like this is you. Uh, deciding that you still want to offer uh, love and, you know, 
you still want to try to offer these brand new beginnings here in this connection. Let me see the Seven of Cups in your hopes and fears. You're healing. You're healing a lot. Um, and I feel like your focus is on work right now. But you are healing a lot and thinking about options here. A lot of options here for you on how to proceed further in life or uh, with this person. But you're going through a lot of healing. Let me see this Three of Pentacles in your potential outcome. This, I feel like it's relating more to work. There's going to be balance. There's going to be, you may have a partner that you're working with and you, it feels like, it feels like the situation is getting steady for you at work. Things are getting good. Things are getting way better than before. Things are getting balanced when it comes to your work. It feels like your stability is coming to a, um, you know, to, oh, if my dog would shut up, that would be great. Um, things are coming to a balance here for you at work. This is uh, telling me it's work here. All right. Uh, let me pull up a final tip from the universe card for you. He's like a little kid and I can't stop him. And he starts in the middle of readings. I could lay in my bed for two days. He's quiet. I do readings. He's like, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Final tip from the universe for you. I see a get-together here of two people that are very rational about things. I'm not necessarily seeing um, reconciliation, like a clear reconciliation, but you two are going to come face-to-face uh, -face and talk about things in a very logical manner. All right, like, okay, where is this going? Is this going anywhere? Or what are we doing about this? You know, you two are very rational, very logical about the situation. Um, you are going to come from the same um, mind frame, pretty much, here, when it comes to this coming together of yours. So you two will uh, eventually meet up and talk like adults, pretty much. All right. Uh, let's do a Soul's Journey Oracle card for you. <laughs> you get uh, relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Now that's a good manifestation kind of um, energy there. You know? Let's uh, pull up the uh, Spirit of the Animals Oracle card. And that's that for you, Scorpio. It's not looking as uh, messy as before. You are healing a lot, which is actually something refreshing for me to see on your part. You know? And you get Hummingbird, Miracles. You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope it helped. And if this resonated, again, the link to the extended is in the description box. Uh, I'll see you next time. That's it. Bye.